Go. He's, he's creating Podcast another go. Podcast go. Podcast hyper team force monkey X go. Orange monkey eagle. <laughs> Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Um, <laughs> so Barry, how, how are your messages? Who, who's your message from? Like it in here. Did you do it to everyone? <laughs> <laughs> just like it in here. Oh, okay. Super freight. <laughs> I think Barry might be a little bit disappointed that it was just two people. Should have changed his name, seeing as that's the theme with Binary Core now, people changing their names. I'll change it back to four. I might change mine. Really? Oh, you want to change yours? Yeah, well, I can't figure out what. Well, I think I might have figured it out. But... Dry Blaze or no? You Dre didn't, Blaze. You didn't want to change that because why? Because David made like I, I came up with Dre Blaze. It makes it Dracala and Blaze, and Dre then Blaze. David was like. I keep reading it as dry balls, so now I can't. <laughs> dry balls. His other one is binary blades. That's gay as well. Or cipher like blades. Dre, Dre blades makes you think of blade blades. And ah, Dr. Yeah. Dre. Dr. Dre for me. And Dr. Dre. Dre blades. Dr. Dre blades. <laughs> it was like a really odd Japanese kid rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got an idea now, but... When I've I decided... keep trying to think of the Beyblade intro, but I keep thinking of the Sonic intro. Do, roll, do, 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 rolling do, do, do. around at the speed. I keep getting oh, that, that one. one. Yeah. But it's um, what is the baby lady enjoy? It's about spinning, though, isn't it? Yeah, I have life and can't remember. I, it, I've never, I, I've maybe seen one episode of Baby Blade, didn't catch my interest. Oh, Baby Blade was amazing. Mm. It was when you had the toys because me and my mate. Oh, the toys are good. Me it's and my mate, we do. we decided that the Baby Blades weren't dangerous enough, so we got uh, metal pins and melted them into the Baby Blade, uh, okay. and or and put one through the centre so it span on a metal pin. And we fucked up a coke can with it. We decided we aren't going to play with those because we destroyed everything. Yeah, so That's a reason to play with them. Yeah, a good topic. Actually, well, I just want yeah. to get back to the people changing their names because <laughs> Dave went forever with us. We can't call him Dave. We have to call him Phasma because everyone has to use their handles. He's now changed his name from Phasma to Achaiathus. I That's preferred Phasmi. Phasmi, yeah. Did I, I spell it wrong? Or something? No, it was me. I kept every time I talked to him on um, the oh, forum. Ch- oh, no, it's the yeah, forum. Mm-hmm. I'd always accidentally put an yeah. E instead of an A. I was send it to no I idea. That. <laughs> no friends. But yeah, he wants to be called Akai- Akairus or whatever. Uh, Akairus. A chiropractor. What know. is it? Is what it, it, called what it is? Is it a Greek god? There's um, this old device that was made in like the 14th century called the Akairus thing. And it was a way of like charting that stars like and a mystical item out of, like FMA. It was. It was. It's, it's like the Philosopher's Stone, but like rare. And you have to kill two civilizations. Uh, um, young Harry, looking for the Archaeus thing. No FMA. <laughs> uh, Harry Potter works too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a lizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, had that. Um, it's just some device. What it was is he kept trying to register for things as Phasma, and other people have used it. Mm-hmm. So he was like, I don't want a name which is so obvious. We should come up. He should, I'm so glad he, I did John, that. Put that down so you can be heard. He should follow your lead. Yeah. And name himself after a popular. We should call him Crash. Crash. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. Sonic. Is he allowed to choose his own new name? <laughs> yeah, we can call him Spyro. Spyro. <laughs> Spyro two. one and Spyro two. Call him Sparks. He could be my little minion. He could be. What? Um, what's Actually, his name? David. Spade. David Spade. David Spade. He spade me in one game. Mm. No, it was funny. There was a guy at school who was trying to come up with his like his handle <clears> on that, and he called himself Sparks. And it was totally because I was Spyro. I was just like, makes you seem like a little dick, you little bitch. What else? What, what I get? Call him Gex. He now calls himself Demic. Gex was a great game. No, I love that game. But we Gex, could call Deep Cover Gecko. I have yeah. that on PS One. It's awesome. Awesome game. Awesome. Awesome. It was binary. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you did there. <laughs> please don't ever do it again. <laughs> no, do it. Do I it. like it. I think that should be That's the title of all podcasts. Well, please don't ever do it again. <laughs> the name of this one's going to be Binary Corsum. Yeah. Nice. Well, we you set the name. That's a good start. Yeah. That's a good start. You, you, we're going to say something. We're going to change the um, name, though. Yeah. What you were saying about Bellblade being like you enjoyed playing the actual game, but I didn't enjoy the cartoon. There are a lot of things like that when we were kids that were more fun playing or watching the cartoon, like Digimon. Really good cartoon, really shit game. Yeah, no, I remember That's the game. We had right. this conversation <clears throat> last week, didn't we? Well, didn't the game we? was shit because you were yeah. a giant poo. Yeah. Yes. Um, um, yeah. Same as Yu Gi Oh! But Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! and Pokemon had it right. Really fun to play, really fun to watch. Yeah. Um, especially with GX and. Uh, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, what about the original? It's good to a point. Yeah. Tell me, what other sort of animes were, or kid shows that had games to go with them? Most of them. Like what? Technic? You can't Dragon Ball Z. What was the game? Oh, there's loads of games. Yeah. I yeah. know oh, those games never really got any better because it was the same fucking thing over and over again. We just yeah, maybe a few more characters. It's broke, yeah. don't fix it. I suppose, yeah. Kung Fu Panda was awesome. Game and I actually the anime of that Kung was Fu Panda. Amazing. Game. I did as well. 
There should be a game of Lion King. Online. Snes Lion King. Oh, that game is brilliant. Snes Hercules. Monster Rancher. Was there a game? Home of that? Alone. No. There should be a game of that. There should. Monster be. Rancher was a great. Anime. The Home Alone game. The original, mm. the first one, not the Game Boy one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that I was remember right. that. Oh, I remember that. I remember How the. How not remember that? First Batman. Where I got. Like <laughs> Nes game. Mm. The Snes game even. Well, I thought we were going just with anime. <clears throat> no, just anime stuff. stuff. No, just cartoons. Still make cartoons. Um, but no, there should be a Sword Art Online game. Yeah, I know. I that play the would be it. sick. You both need to watch that. Sword Art. Sword Art Online. We're going to watch some later, I think. It's an anime. Um, have you ever seen Dot Hack? Yeah, yeah, I know Dot Hack. Yeah, it's like that, but I suppose it's a lot more of a modern anime where Dot Hack was quite old. Yeah. But it's the same basic principle. They're playing an online game that is called the Nerve Girl. Yeah, I see. And it's basically, yeah, they put a helmet on and it tracks the whole body. But cool. stops all the signal. So if like they move in the game because their body wants them to move, well, they're yeah. sleeping. But they're sleeping, so they can't actually move. Their like bodies. in Yu-Gi-Oh, where they go into the yeah. uh, pods. A lot like that. And then the create <laughs> like this is it's not really a spoiler because it's all in the first episode. Yeah. But the creator of the game goes, ah, fuck you all up. The nerve gear was my That's creation. Exactly what he says. <clears throat> None of you can leave. If you die in game. The system will send a shockwave through your brain that will kill you. Matrix. Yeah. Um, and if Inception. if you if someone tries to remove the device from you, you'll die. Yeah. The only way, and it's basically <clears throat> they've got these dungeons. Battle Royale. Yeah, kind of. Like that. <laughs> but they've got this like dungeon system where there's a hundred floors in this MMO world, mm -hmm. and the when you, you the only way you can escape is to get to the hundredth yeah. floor. And each floor has a dungeon boss. So you've got to get to the so kill like screen. Bloody palace. Yeah. yeah. It, it kind of it's like bloody oh, so basically we've broken this sword art thing down to many different things no, it's yeah, a lot of but different it's things. a lot of different things really? that have but been done before it it you, you can't have an original it. idea anymore yeah no, so, exactly. but it does it really really you can well. have an original idea you should have a conversation with James every now and then no he's never had an original idea yeah, they're, 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 not, biscuits, they're not the yeah. kind of idea you can put <laughs> out into the public no I remember this yeah fruit spearing my biscuit that's an original idea Polluting my cauliflower with West with Germany. West Germany. <laughs> oh, is this how it works? You just say random things. And no, it's fun. we were playing. <laughs> That's how it works with you. We were playing Pictionary <laughs> yesterday because Hardcore. we're cool kids. Hardcore Pictionary. Me and Barry won. We uh, won Pictionary way. champions. Hardcore Pictionary is that like Pictionary porn? Yeah. No, yeah, we, that was the idea that came up. It usually, but, is um, no, it's permadeath. It's hardcore. After uh, <laughs> you lose a Pictionary, you're dead. After Lucy and Charlotte lost at Pictionary, did Lucy, they not get what the jackal was? No, what the jackal? <laughs> Are they dead now? Uh, yeah, yeah that's what they're not here. Yeah, yeah no, I had to confirm. What did we win on? We won on... I got it. You kissing? Were going, no. <laughs> <laughs> Gary. So Man Barry won Gary. kissing. Explains oh, Gary, uh, Gary, 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 Gary's <laughs> profile picture. <laughs> Fuck you, it's Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> it was two Chinese guys in <laughs> Mankey. Do you know that's a real show? That comes from a real show called Super Gay. I <laughs> 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 shit you not. You can look it up on YouTube. Super Gay is a real thing. So Chinese Mankey Smug. Oh, it was Smug. It was it. It was we smog. went on Smug. He drew a chimney <clears throat> with smoke, and I was like, Smoke. And he was like, Ugh! And I was like, That's Smug. And he drew a dragon. I was. A bit like it. That's Smog. I was going to draw like Midgar. Yeah, yeah. But then I thought Tony would get that first. And my Barry best might one, just be like Midgar. My <laughs> best one was Passage, and I thought fuck that. So I know you hate Minecraft, but I saw someone build a one-to-one -one scale of Midgar. That's Dude, cool. and it looked fucking that. amazing. Yeah, I enjoy stuff like that, mm. but I wouldn't do it myself. No, it didn't have taken forever because I just I don't have the patience for it. For one thing, Fair and enough. the idea of running around, even in creative mode, where you already have all the crap you need, the idea of running around and building that. And spending like however many hours of my life building that, so that I can post it on Reddit and be like, "Oh, guys, what I built," doesn't appeal to me. That is like, how I read Reddit. I read it in that voice. Everyone does, <laughs> unless it's a really important subreddit like Pokemon. Then cool. I read it with <laughs> quite a good. Right, it was um, something you enjoy doing though. But you don't even have to. I mean, I've done a tree. No one's ever going to see my tree except for people who log on to the server. My if you enjoy it, when we do the tour of it. Oh yeah, of course the tour. I forgot about the tour. Uh, so of, people will see my tree. Speaking of Reddit. Aaron Swartz killed himself. Yeah. Did you read much about that? No. He broke into MIT, um, broke into one of the server rooms, mm. um, hooked up his computer, downloaded like millions worth of stuff, and um, he got found out. He <laughs> put it, well, he put it up online. For yeah, free. put it up online for free. He, the reason they, he got um, 35 years is what they said they were going to get him. But the pros prosecutor said after his death that we were only going to give him six months. Bit late to make that clear. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was going to get 35 years, and it was because they tried to make it out that he was going to sell the information. 
which no, would because <clears throat> piracy the piracy only it only becomes piracy if you profit yeah. from it. Whereas uh, other than that, you're just breaking EULA. Yeah. And um, breaking EULA is a civil courts matter. Mm-hmm. It doesn't go federal, but because they were saying that he was go- it was piracy and he was going to sell it, it went federal and they were going to give him 35 years. So he killed himself, hung himself, I think it was. Yeah, it was hanging. That's fucked up. That is pretty much The guy is young, like co founder of Reddit. Successful fucking guy. Yeah. He obviously wasn't looking forward to aliens very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that's exactly what I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't looking forward to it, otherwise he wouldn't have done it. Yeah. Or any games so. though. Is that how you base it? People who kill themselves just don't understand how good Colonial Marines are. I was going to kill myself yeah. yesterday, but New Aliens is out soon, so no. Exactly. I was thinking I'll about wait until, until that. I felt the same thing about Devil May Cry. <laughs> Over Christmas, you, you were thinking yourself. Oh, you know, then I remember, I should probably finish DMC first. Yeah, you yeah, you was kicking it. Like you know, after I finished Sword Art Online, I was like, crap. What do yeah. I do with my life? Oh, it's like Aliens is out well, yeah. in a week or two. Now your life has meaning. It does. <laughs> I'm spending like... 200 quid on aliens. I'm getting a new graphics card. Oh, right. PC limited edition. And I'm, you're a bit so I'm getting the Xbox. I was going to say, this is like the super mega limited edition. No, it's a normal edition. He's just being ripped off. I'm not going to get that one. Shop2.net are ripping off Barry. No, never. Now, you met this guy at the pub. <laughs> He's like, hey, Barry, you want some colonial marines? <laughs> want some, want some oh, horse meat? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can give you aliens. Just 200 quid. <laughs> okay. Per alien. <laughs> oh. It's just going to be. I hear there's like five in the game. It's just going to be a cow fetus in a jar. (laughs) (laughs) Shut up. I think you might have a couple of action figures in that reference. (laughs) Mark a pen, it was a legit. (laughs) (laughs) It's legit. Look at it. I can't argue with Mark a pen. (laughs) You'll call him Betsy. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) So, snowing and shit. It is snowing. And we're British, so we have to complain what? about what? it. What? It's snowing. Well, there's, there's, there's this rule. When did that happen? There's this rule that you can only wake, like, if your girlfriend or wife is sleeping, you can only wake her up if a celebrity has died or if it's snowing. So this morning, we <laughs> carries up and went, Carrie, someone famous has died. She went, what? Sorry, it's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Where did that rule come from? I, d- I heard it ages ago. Well, if ago. your dog crawled into bed with you and died and was lying on top of your wife or girlfriend, could you wake her up then? No. Because your dog's not famous. What the fuck's with you? That's <laughs> like the same. Oh, you sick. sick, twisted. I'm more confused about <laughs> I saying that the down. house is on fire. <laughs> no, you'd wake up. You'd, you'd, yeah, but what if she did? It's not fire, it's fire. Carbon monoxide poisoning, passed out. I wanted to wait. You know, the the uh, fireman's like, so has anyone left in her? My wife, she's asleep. Why didn't you get her? Well, it's not snowing and no one died. <laughs> it's snowing, Ash. <laughs> death note would really How famous are you? Can you go die in there so I can wake her up? <laughs> You count it as snowing if the ash has reached a point where it's falling on the floor? No, it's got to be actual snow. Uh, I, yeah, I haven't read that in the rules. I have it to look be, up. It could be snowing See, anything. I, 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 just I can't remember where I heard I, that. I don't know. I've never followed these rules. I, I'm I'm snowing, I've woken God. girlfriends up for all sorts. Yeah, but they get angry. Oh, you have a fitness in your face. Yeah, that is one of the things I've woken <laughs> up. Snow. That was it. It was uh, Michael McIntyre, one of his stand-ups. Uh, okay. He was talking about waking his wife. It was where yeah. he did the whole bit about... Um, while waiting for the bus and the bus was cancelled mm. so like everyone started walking the bus the route, bus route yeah. <laughs> and other people joined the bus and then like a girl waited until they got to the bus stop before she got off and walked back and <laughs> they just came across yeah I remember that one but that's how snow buses work but yeah I've, I've woken up girlfriends for far less than snow or celebrity deaths blow job blow jobs it's a blow job less than snow I think well it depends it's snow a job. kind of snow <laughs> 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 make it rain on the girl that served him what she wasn't awake for this. She wasn't awake for this, did you say? Um, I don't... <laughs> no, I, she I just... woke up afterwards. No, I just imagine Matt it's wakes her up <laughs> with a menu going, I like a number 15, and... Uh... Oh, that's okay. not what I call Bojo. <laughs> <laughs> I would like a number 15, and then maybe a bit of 37, wink, wink. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, the way you roll might be a bit of rule 34. <laughs> if it exists. <laughs> <laughs> I've thought of it, so yes. <laughs> Sick fuck. <laughs> crazy. Crazy fools. And isn't it <clears throat> rule 30, 35 is where it's the you reverse the gender? No, that's 36. That's 36. Or 35? No, I don't. Do people, they just skip No, them? they do. They just, they're, they're, the rule, just I, I don't think there are actually... I think it's 44 rules. I don't think there are actually 44 rules. I okay. think there is like rule one is you do not talk about whatever it is that you're not talking about. Rule two Fine is... Club. 
Yeah. Unless it's Church Club, because you have to talk about Church you Club. You have to talk about Church Club. Fuck Church but yeah, Club. And then it go, I think it's like rule 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 34. <laughs> <laughs> rule 13, skip to 34. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you must always ignore rule 14. Well, as long as you remember the first two rules... And rule 34. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> You're good to go. What's the second rule? So I, I'm lost. What are the Don't rules? Don't talk about five. Oh, right. <laughs> huh? What are, what are these rules? I, I, I know not of these rules. These, new, these are new to me. Why I are probably actually screwed with it. Oh, yeah, what haven't you had? He was masturbating. Yeah, masturbating. He was totally masturbating. Yeah, yeah man. Masturbating. Masturbating. Especially after last week. No, wait, wait, wait. I, I was one handed DSing, <laughs> but I used the wrong hand. Uh, <laughs> you were wanking with the DS. Yeah, that, that's yeah. I, I was waiting to the S and pressing the buttons on. <laughs> With your cock. Uh, <laughs> no, I slipped on the uh, snow. Was it super oh, well. effective? <laughs> rule one and two are not what I thought they were. Who are they? Uh, I've got. I'm getting a list. Oh, all right, right, right. We'll, we'll chat one. amongst ourselves. Right. Rule one: the internet makes you stupid. That's rule two: great. if it's funny, it came from 4chan or something awful. <laughs> rule three: if you're an idiot, you will be made fun of. Rule four: nobody cares if you're tough in real life. Rule five: anonymous does not forgive. Rule six, caps lock is cruise control for cool. Yes. <laughs> if it exists, that's in caps. <laughs> if it exists, you can buy it online. Rule eight, if it happened, it happened at least 100 years ago. Rule nine, Brazilian girls will do it for $500. Rule 10, it needs more desu. Rule 11, you will get viruses from downloading pornography. Rule 12, no, lurk true. more. Rule well, 13, that? lurk more. All right. Uh, rule 13, it never needed any more cowbell. <laughs> no, it always needs more cowbell. Rule 14, as long as there is internet, there will be drama. Yeah. Rule 15, if a cam whore posts, tits must be shown. If rule is broken, a cam whore should get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, tits, tits will, will get, get the, the fuck, fuck out. out, yeah. Rule 16, you must enjoy AIDS. Rule 17, <laughs> pools closed due to AIDS. That's not a rule. That is a rule. <laughs> <laughs> rule 18, if someone is better than you, they are hacking. <laughs> rule 19, True. lens flare makes masterpieces. Rule 20, you're doing it wrong. Rule 21, if your girlfriend ends in dot .jpeg, she is not real. <laughs> oh, that's not true. Shit. <laughs> I'm single again. Rule 22, long stories are copy pasta. Rule 23, long stories are never read at any rate. True. Uh, rule 24, pics are never happened. Yeah. Uh, rule 25, everyone sees what you did there. Rule 26, <laughs> nobody knows the answer to what is love. Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> rule 27, lolly hates pizza. No exceptions. Rule 28, it's alright. Rule 29, do a barrel. Do a barrel. <laughs> rule 30, everyone is gay for Bridget. Rule 31, the internet is for porn. Rule 32, everything is a fetish. No exceptions. Rule 33, it's a trap. Rule 34, we know. Rule 35, the exception to Rule 34 is the citation of Rule 34. <laughs> rule, th- oh, rule 36, bringing up Nazi is insta fail. No, it's Godwin. Mm. Um, rule 37, there are no girls when on the When God internet, wins, we all fail. Ah. Rule 38, a cat is fine too. Okay. Rule 39, one cat leads to another. <laughs> rule 40, ceiling cat is watching you fat. Weird. Rule 41, Saturday is cat day. Yep. Rule 32, it is delicious cake, you must eat it. Rule 43, someone would fap to it. Rule 44, Snape killed Dumbledore. <laughs> Rule 45, all lasers must be charged before shooting How many are there? Oh, I'm almost done. 50. <laughs> Rule 46, Naga stole your bike. Rule 47, it will always need more sauce. Rule 48, anything can be a meme. Rule 49, you need e-degrees and e lawyery and e-psychology to be an internet badass. <laughs> and Rule 50, the era- internet is serious business. I'm pretty sure Rule 36 is the yeah, um, gender switch Rule 34 one. is gender switch. Well, rule 36, not rule 34. Where'd you get this from? Because uh, I don't know how reputable they are. I just typed in for rules of Forger. Well, it doesn't sound that reputable, but it's on, isn't one of the rules it was on the internet, it's true? <laughs> yeah. Thanks. That was charming. Yeah. Oh, so what I do. .com, rules of the internet. All my girlfriends. Ah, uh, there we go. Rules. They're the actual rules. So we just rang... Uh, right. <laughs> we read the wrong uh, rules. Just find out where the gender switch one is. It's rule th- uh, oh, no, rule 36 is... There will always be an even more fucked up shit than what you just saw. Yeah, no, I can understand. Rule 37 is no one can divide by zero. Wait a minute, that film that you and Tony watch that we're not allowed to talk about... Oh, yeah. Is there anything more fucked up than that? Not that I've seen, but there probably is somewhere. Why are we not allowed to talk about it? Because it's really fucked up and Matt can't deal with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, the first nine rules are all mostly about Anonymous. Okay. Um, I don't know where the gender bender one is, though. (laughs) <laughs> Rule 22 and 23 are exactly the same. Copy pasta is made to ruin every last bit of originality. <laughs> nice. Saints. Sorry, Saints I'm reading now. Fall. Always question a person's sexual preferences without any real reason. Always question a person's gender, just oh, in case it's really a matter. Rule 63. 
it's rule 63, is an internet adage in the state where every fictional character, they exist a counterpart of the opposite sex. Yeah. That's what Know Your Meme says. And I, oh, it's rule know, 63. Know okay. Your Meme is more reputable than anything else. Ever. Yeah. Especially 4chan. Nothing's more reputable than 4chan. 5chan. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, I'll leave. I'll go away and never come back. <laughs> Female Ronald McDonald. Yeah. <laughs> Might have to link dump that. <laughs> you said it. You have to send it to Adam's wank bank. <laughs> <laughs> no, he hurt his hand. He's not using that. For a while. <laughs> so uh, 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 I've, I've been practicing with my left. <laughs> You're going to be ambidextrous. But that's gross. <laughs> I call it wanky dextrous. But yeah, wanky dextrous. It's part so of the female versions. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going back to that. We're not going back to that. <laughs> so DMC is out, and you lot are loving it. I haven't played it yet. No, You're still loving it, it, aren't you? Not? Yeah. You haven't killed yourself yet, so... It's... <laughs> it's been well, he's close. killing himself in the... He's not killing himself I'm in killing myself with anticipation. Very slowly. It's going to kill him, yeah. a day. <laughs> I played it. Fuck you. It's awesome. Fuck you. You should totally play Fuck it. Fuck you. <laughs> There's this really awesome bit where I was playing, and I was Dante, and I killed demons. I fucking hate you. With their swords. You'll love it. You'll uh, love it. <laughs> <laughs> I was using throwing knives. So the extra fists. weapons are they good or the extra weapons are awesome? They add the, there's so many bits that add a new dimension. Like you're in a different mode when you're selecting these extra weapons. A different mode. <laughs> different <laughs> mode. Yeah. Uh, this mode or a different mode. Mode of a zero. <laughs> there, there's, there's four basic <laughs> modes. Terrible. From what I can tell, there's four basic modes. You've got normal Dante, which is just nothing. Then you've got angel mode and de- devil mode. <laughs> what the fuck? Angel he's, mode. Being, he's being part of an anime. <laughs> Angel mode and devil mode. I mean, it's mode. been a little the water drop. And, so. Bessie, Bessie. and then the devil trigger. <laughs> I didn't know you spoke weeaboo. Okay. I've known to. <laughs> In it, <can. laughs> Yeah. Angel mode and demon mode, and then devil trigger and normal mode. But the way it works, devil trigger is different. Trying to connect. Oh, devil... De- devil trigger. Is that one trigger? And then no, no, that's both the... Uh, the you, you press down the analog sticks for devil trigger. You don't use a trigger for devil trigger. <laughs> what? What <laughs> mind fuckery is this? <laughs> I know. <laughs> But Double Trigger, it, when you're going to Double Trigger, the enemies can't attack you. Yes, I know. They fly up into the air and then you attack them. Unless you put them down to the ground, then they can attack Aww. you. <laughs> yeah. But well, at least get a picture of you doing that for the link dog. <laughs> there are levels where the floors are a different colour. Like If they're red, you have to be in devil mode That's or you will get hurt. And if they're in blue, and they'll change periodically and you have to be ready to make that change. And there's certain enemies whose attacks can't hurt you if you're in that special mode. Why is your tongue green? <laughs> That's a good question. You're a lizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> he was licking out a lizard. Mm. Look, look, your tongue's green. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. What are you doing with the other hand? <laughs> Guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new purple bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we should have screenshotted that so we. Oh, you kept it? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to screenshot so it and put it in the link. link dump. Dump. Everything is the link dump today. <laughs> We should put the podcast. You need in a picture of your broken hand from masturbating for the link dump. There you no, go. I, take it. I don't want to touch No, yeah, you, <laughs> should, you should actually put the link for the podcast in the link dump. Oh, that seems awesome. That well, seems, uh, that's really meta, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, meta. A podcast and a podcast and a podcast. Okay, I want to do D&D again. Yeah, well, we're waiting for Tony to not be dead. Yeah. <laughs> he's on a that, that would, that no, he's dead. Oh, yeah. Because he didn't like aliens. So oh. himself in that. Oh, no, I, I thought it was because he didn't win a Pictionary. Oh, yeah. No, maybe. Ritual suicide. I know. Fuck, yeah. it could be anything. But no, after that, um, the comment I sent you that I found on Reddit, I we'll really to wanted well. to play D&D again. If I can find got, it again. I, I think I've got oh, you've still got the link. I'll have um, a look. Basically, I was reading this um, thing on... <clears> the internet. <throat> the RPG <laughs> subreddit. Right. And so it was basically people swapping stories about the most bizarre things their players have done. Okay. And one person said they were playing D&D and... I've got it here. They were level one. Uh, do you want me to read it out? I'll let you read it out. Okay. You found it. You can read it out. All right. So this is the story that this guy told us telling people on Reddit. So we finish up character creation and they're choosing their starting items. Each has 100 gold to spend on any of the standard items. Everything's going fine. Well, as fine as it can be for this group until it gets to my favorite player. He gets this look in his eye and glances over at the sorcerer in the group and then smiles. I know this smile. This smile means trouble. Does he buy armor? No. Weapons? No. Food or adventuring gear? Nope. Wrong again. He buys a boat. Let me say that again. He buys a motherfucking rowboat. This thing costs 99 gold and the campaign is set in the mountains. Totally landlocked. 
But hey, I want to see where this is going, so I okay, okay at realising this is their first campaign. Everything is going more or less fine, save the copious whoring of the transgender hundred-year-old elf ranger <laughs> and other shenanigans. They get to their first dungeon, and the Smara returns. They're standing at the top of the staircase to the necromancer's supposed lair. Totally pitch dark past a few feet, and goblin squeals coming from somewhere near the bottom. The dude walks over to the sorcerer and convinces him to cast a floating disc spell. The one that follows you around and is meant to carry gear and such. When he does, our hero knocks him out and ties him to the front of the rowboat. He then puts the rowboat on top of the disc and waits for his friend to wake up. What happens next is a feat unlike any I've seen from a new player before. He climbs in and shoves the fucking rowboat down the stairs, sorcerer screaming as he hurls into the abyss below, tied to the front of a levitating boat. The goblins who are meant to be the first challenging encounter never knew what hit them. The goblins that weren't killed or torn apart instantly by running over, being run over by a speeding, magically floating boat became targets. Both sorcerers casting fireballs left and right, one out of sheer terror and the other laughing maniacally. Needless to say, the boat breach strategy became their favourite way to break into every dungeon. <laughs> this was just session one of their campaign. <laughs> So this sounds a lot like what we were doing. Don't I mean, let Tony read that, and then let's do it. Yeah. No, I think I've... Well, we don't have a mage anymore. Well, it's probably a ritual. And I need to get the details so I can recreate yeah, my character. That's fine. I need to do that too. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, one. there were, some of the stories on there were brilliant. Like, there was one um, that I read about this guy. He had... Uh, can you send me the link to that? Alchemist. It's, it was it's just a, a thing. Message. I'll have to I'll find the link on Reddit again. But he had an alchemist in his party and a goblin illusionist. Yeah. And he was really cool with his party and they could split up. And this alchemist was a, a trader on the black market. So whenever he went to talk to his contact, no, out of character, none of the, in character, none of the party knew about it. Except the goblin illusionist who had snuck up and followed him one time. Mm. So every time he wanted to go do his secret business, he'd go outside with the DM, conduct it privately with the goblin listening because he was always following and then they'd come back in, and they had to play in character. They had no idea what was going on, and he'd never done anything to in character raise suspicions. Mm. So one day, the goblin was following them, uh, following him as he went off to do his black market thing. Um, as they were, being, the, he tripped as he was making noise because he failed a stealth check. Mm. The alchemist turned around, but he was wearing the goblin was wearing an illusion disguise. He failed five perception checks, so he didn't see through the disguise didn't know it was his party member, ended up having a massive fight with him, knocking him out, blowing up a building, and then um, leaving him knocked out next to the building and called the police on the gob- uh, the guards on the goblin. The goblin then got arrested, was being tortured by a null yeah. mage, <clears throat> tried to sneak out of his bonds, but got um, knocked out and put in negative HP by a fireball from the null mage. Yeah. He then, as a, um, then went to court. All of this <laughs> happening in the same session. Went to court, was found guilty. The character was executed, <laughs> <laughs> and the guy had to re-roll. The guy had to re-roll. He decided to re-roll a paladin, who was lawful good because of the alchemist's actions. He had to change his alignment to chaotic evil. <laughs> wow. But it's That's like epic. it's the best story I've ever heard of how the DM was so cool with it to begin with. But there were consequences for everyone fucking up. Mm. That's, That's pretty good. And that's why we should start D&D again. Yeah. And also, I mean, that's something you should tell Tony. Mm. I mean, I assume Tony's got some awesome ideas for I'm hoping this. so. No, he's been no. thinking about no. it. No. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no, he's been thinking... He's got... He's been planning this for ages. Mm. So he should have a lot of stuff up his sleeve. I think I'd kind of like it to be as brutal as that, where if you fuck up enough, he'll just kill you off. That's it. If I hadn't stopped DMing... I was going to start getting to that point. Yeah. Because logically, the next part of the story that I had planned was the first seven or eight sessions all going to be set in one city. Mm. And you sometimes go outside to do stuff, but you come back and you make it your base for a while. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so there will be a lot of wandering around in taverns, trying to find information, Was that the around. city with our whole house in it? No, it was no. the new one. When I was thinking of like ideas, we for had a whole house. I had the same sort of idea. Each town, there would be several different quest paths you could go off to, and it yeah. is up to you to find these quest paths. Like in the the first town, there wasn't much, but when you get to the first main town, there, because there's so many sort of districts to it, there would be stuff to do everywhere, but mm. you would have to go and find it. So there's loads of missable stuff. Yeah. See, I think that's what Tony's doing. And I think it worked, the way I did it worked well for a beginner, mm. like, group. So that we could get used to it, get and then we could evolve. And then now, Tony's going through the process of building that up, yeah. and adding more to it. 
um, which is it was about the time I was going to do it because the way I ended it was the first major quest line ended. Yeah. But you, we were only like level what seven, 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 seven right? Yeah. So I was going to build on that and start making it harder so that it became an actual challenge to reach your um, is it epic tier? Uh, you think I don't know if the first one's epic tier, but yeah, to get to eleven, yeah. your tier. So uh, that's what I was. I think Tony's doing the same thing. That's cool. Barry's a trans, trans, transgender dwarf. I am. You rule 63, man. Dwarf, dwarf, dwarf. Dwarf, dwarf, dwarf. Um, yeah, so we're all coming... You're coming back as your same character. Yes. Um, you're, are you changing or staying? I think I'm probably going to change... Stay. Yeah. S- stay. I don't even know, really. As your paladin, but you, you're going to rebuild with the... It's the 5e editor, isn't it? No, it's the 4... 5e is not finished yet. Oh, it's not finished? 5e, I, 5e is still in trials. Okay. I keep um, getting emails with your new character, aren't you? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Archer. So you I need to rebuild been, it. I, swat, I, would, I, would, I had a ranger. Yeah, that's what mine is. Yeah. I had a ranger ready, but because you've already decided to respect yours as a ranger, mm. I'm sticking with my paladin. So yeah, because, thanks for that. Because, <coughs> well, no, it was because no. I... Shut up. Because I was going away as the mage, the long range, I thought I should come back as a long range because I didn't know who else was changing, and I liked the way that I built my archer. It made it pretty cool. You, you, you want to be the archer because the archer is pretty badass. And yeah. Almost just like... Some of the skills the archer has is ridiculous. That's the thing. I mean, it's birthday I'm, cheesecake. Birth, oh, I love cheesecake. So um, there's not much like. <laughs> try some though, Charlotte. It's so it's good. Fucking amazing. I had some yesterday. Okay, so do, you want, do you like cheesecake? Mmm, no. that's good. Give me that plate. No, fuck you. Give me that plate. I sent to Barry. Cake. Give him a plate. I have an amazing girlfriend who made me cheesecake because my birthday's tomorrow, but I'm not here. Mm. And then, while me and Barry were recording audio... For... You've got to spend your birthday in your... She, made, she made me dinner as well. Yeah, she made me and Barry dinner. Wow. Gave us both cheesecake. And then, while we were recording audio... Is there, like, carrot in that as well? Uh, it's orange and lemon. That's what it is, yeah. While we were recording audio for Worms, she wanted to play Borderlands on my Xbox. Whoa. <laughs> Borderlands DOS? Borderlands DOS. Whoa. But then, because she couldn't access her character, she playing a Mechromancer, yeah. without my profile being on there, mm. she ended up playing Lego Lord of the Rings for an hour instead. Wow. <laughs> yep. Very epic. This day was a good day. Mm. <laughs> yeah, loads of good stuff going on. Um, you know, saying about rebuilding the character, um, you might still be an archer if you want, because I'm going to rebuild the archer with the editor that you've got, and if it's not as good, I might just rebuild my mage. Yeah, but then I mean, if it's not as good, then there's no reason for me to be. No, the reason because I want to be the ranger is because the ranger is going to be pick different abilities. Yeah, yeah, because the way that you you wanted to be the ranger because you found this epic way to do it. The way that I built it was different to yours, but it was still epic. So everyone's an epic. You could easily just go a different way with it. Fuck it. Oh no, it's because um, me, James, and David did a test session, mm. and um, James made himself an archer because he's upset. He was obsessed with World of Warcraft then, and he was a hunter, so he wanted to be a hunter. Right. And the closest thing to that was a ranger. <laughs> Okay. Hunt hard. Okay. Um, <clears throat> hate wild. <laughs> I hate really you, like Barry. Hunt hard, that means. It's like a really epic name. Hunt hard, the greatest <laughs> ranger in the world. <laughs> it's like a 12 year old's wow character. <laughs> no, it's just hunters are so easy to play. I am Huntarian. <laughs> Huntardian. Yeah. Hunters are so easy to play that you, you, you kind of you don't have to be any good at the Is game. Is it to what they class as a face, a, a face role class? Is a, it's something that Scott told me um, about. I'm roll your about face. You basically roll your face along the keyboard and you end up killing everyone. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, yeah. You like that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's because. <laughs> As in, they should be nerfed. Ah. Yeah, I know WoW terminology. Fuck you. I played WoW once. Oh, shit. Looks like Play Doh. Private server. WoW's cool. I like WoW. Leave me alone. Okay. I, 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 I used to think WoW was cool until I lost like eight months of my life to it. See, I'm. <laughs> Shut you up! up. Oh, shit. No more talking! Domino's is here. Domino's Fuck you is up. here. Joining no. the podcast. I... <laughs> Should we invite the guy in? <laughs> Dude, come on this podcast. You, you, we, we like pizza, we can talk special, about pizza. Special guest Domino's guy. <laughs> but no, um. Yeah, I don't let it steal my life, and then I enjoy it. I play it like. How for... do you kill that a witch has no life? <laughs> South Park. Oh, you had to think about that. <laughs> no, I just gave you a look of disdain first, oh, okay. but you can't really tell because it's based. What on you could do is so much better. Is you could, if you want to play World of Warcraft and still like you know do your job on that, you could outsource it to China. Yeah, you were telling me about this guy who outsourced his job to China. Basically, I think it's, he's been doing it for like six months. He outsourced. He it's in America, and he just 
without anyone knowing, just completely outsourced his job to China. He was on like a six-figure sum, and he was paying them a three-figure sum. And I might have been a bit more than that, but it was like five guys in China doing his job, and he just sat at work all day, every day, still getting paid, surfing the internet, doing no work whatsoever. Yeah, but they like came over and saw him surfing the internet when he get done. I don't think he was in the kind of job where there were people who were coming to see what he was doing. All right. I think as look, long as his reports got done and all yeah, that shit. Yeah, as long as the stuff came in, it was like, all right, he's doing his job, obviously. But it was five guys in China doing his job for him. This guy's like a living legend. I, I don't wish... know the upside to that. He's still getting paid the same amount, but he's having. He's now got more outgoings. He's just not putting in the effort. He's not. He, he's basically getting I mean, paid for someone else to do his work. No, but so his actual job is worth. So so, so, so like so he's getting six figure job. Yeah, and he's paying out a three figure. Rat- it's probably more than three figure. No, but, but it was just a ridiculous say, say like this. price. He's getting paid a thousand pound a month, right? And say five hundred of that. No, in, in the sorry, it'd be less. But say five hundred of that is going out to these people. Yeah. So he's not doing anything during the day; he's just surfing the net. But he's getting half the amount of money. Yeah. So there's no upside to that because his bills would still be the same. So he'd have to spend that. The only way it would make sense is he has outsourced his job. And they're doing all the work. He's then making money while he's not doing his job. That's the only way he could do well off that. What, as if he had, like, a second online well, business? Yeah, if he had, like, a second online business. Like, while he's not doing his job and other people are, he's doing another job and getting more money. That he's way he's getting... Earning earning enough. Enough. I, earning enough I, think, I think it was that he, he was earning more than he needed. Okay. He could easily pay... I mean, six-figure sum. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a lot of money. I mean, you have to have a pretty big... You, you must have spent a lot of money to get to the point where you're spending... That much on bills. Yeah, I know. I, I feel like he should be of like spending his time while not working in a way to profit more. Mm. But if he's already got enough money, if he, if true, he doesn't true. need as much, he just needs. Right. I mean, steady so you're saying he's just spending his weeks forty five hours plus on YouTube? Yeah, pretty we, much. YouTube and Facebook. I was going to say that's and, pretty you know, much what we do with our job. We get paid quite a bit of money, and most of my days sitting. Your first YouTube. year apprentice, you do. Do you know do what anything. the most insulting thing is? Anything. None of my managers do anything. Most insulting thing, I'm pretty sure he's never watched any of our videos. What a dick. Exactly. He's got all this free time. They probably has, and then went, hmm. <laughs> Not for Minecraft. me. Minecraft. Hmm. <laughs> I, think, I think I'll go do my job again. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me regret everything. Minecraft. I heard he doesn't like cloning marines and killed himself. No. <clears throat> <laughs> That's why everyone's alive. Is it that, that's well, of course they don't like colonial marines. Colonial marines is rapture. <laughs> when it comes out and he's shit, everyone dies. <laughs> everyone just cries. They would be. I'm playing so much online for this game. I know that guy so from the pub. Feelings. <laughs> Two hundred quid no. just for the game. No, yes, limited edition. No, it's just the Calfiers. And I'm buying a PS3 <laughs> a month after. Uh, so I'm have all. Wait, don't you have a PS3? No, the PS3 version of the game. <laughs> so you're buying. I need to platinum. Them Speaking back. of the PS3. The, there's Wait, a lot you're, of room. you're not Barry. You can't talk about <laughs> PS3s. Okay. Speaking of current gen consoles, they're supposed to be. They're reckoning October this year is when they're going to actually release the new ones. Yeah, yeah. I it'll think be for the well. holiday season. Yeah, because yeah, what's no, I don't think it will be released. If you look at the release schedule for next year, there's nothing. There's actually nothing. Yeah, yeah. it's all up. Do you there. mean this year? No, the release schedule for next year. This oh, year okay. we've got like you know the Last of Us, you know the the last kind of triple A blockbusters. Yeah. Well, everyone else is. See, I, th- I think like July, August, September announce the new consoles. October will get a massive fl- influx of news about them yeah. and what they can do. Probably, I'd say just before Christmas. I think. I, I re- no, it's released. gonna it'll really? be November. No. <laughs> because, yeah. No, they're gonna be a. Um, It'll be a Christmas release because they'll, no, no. they'll make the more. Most they, money do you think? No, no, they'll make more money if they release. If if you look at it this way, if they do it for Christmas, a lot of people have already spent all their money on buying everyone else Christmas presents. They release it in November, then the people who want the console can buy it then and then spend the next. And yeah. then I mean, the people who can't they, afford they, it, they, it for Christmas. You can't sell the console in December because all of the games come out then. They are going to announce it before E three, probably a month or two before. Probably both consoles and like separate. Or events, it will so get quote then, unquote leaked. Yeah, as yeah, a very yeah. clever marketing E3, campaign, which isn't clever anymore because everyone E3 knows. E3 will be focused on the launch software, um, mm. so that's like June, and then after that, it will just be build up and hype, and everyone go insane. That's why I said about Q1 because you can't release it in December yeah, because of all, if you, you can't release PlayStation Four, they're probably going to call it right. You yeah. can't release the PlayStation Four if the big title for the PlayStation Three has just come out. Then everyone's going to go buy that game, but there's that console that I haven't got. I think they called the code name for it for a while was Orbis, which means circle, and Beta is life. Okay, so they they're kind of going with that. Circle of life. 
Exactly. Very clever. What about the Xbox? <coughs> are they, are they, do you reckon they're going to go with the 720? That, I don't, that, that's that, been rumoured for so long. I don't that, think that's... It did have that. a weird code name. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I remember looking at that. I, I remember that. seeing the code name. Because they, they leaked that. stuff about it. The code, name, it yeah. the code name's changed. From what I read, the code name's changed. They, they had a code name last year and they've changed it this year. And it looks like the same project. But more advanced. They're in saying stages. PS3 might not have a, a DualShock now, and then it might be a, some kind of tablet like the Wii U, which yeah. I hope is true. That would be horrible. <laughs> you can't take that away from proper games. Let's face it, anyone who uses just a Wii is not a proper game. I know. Though the Wii U has sold like, lots of units, and I, I really don't understand how. I'm not going to go on to this again. There was, speaking of, I know we spoke about this last week, but there was a rumour. Uh, well, it wasn't really a rumour so much as... Something the guy that makes Pokemon said in an interview, and the way he said it, he kind of gave a half laugh afterwards, so it wasn't clear if he meant it as a joke, but the gap between that and the laugh, it seemed more like a hint, Yeah. and he was saying that with the Wii U and the 3DS's capability, you might be able to play the new Pokemon games on the Wii U. Okay. Now that is cool. Yeah. See, on the rumours, they've got... 720, which yeah. might be called the Xbox Infinity. Yeah. Hmm. Um, they're cool. saying pre Christmas release. Pre World Halo 4. Yeah, pre Christmas release. <laughs> Only way you can do that is if games, if they release it pre Christmas, yeah. then the December games, the big ones, have to be for that. Yeah. Um, you think we would have heard if people are making yeah. 720 be games? Really soon, if they announce it, it's got to be I mean, soon. yeah, because people would have to be developing these games already. Effectively, the next I Assassin's don't... Creed, I reckon, could be a launch title. I think uh, it the, will the, be. Yeah, no, I can I see think that. the next Halo will. Yes, yeah, Halo would have to be a launch title. It yeah, is the, it the, is the Xbox game. As think, we were talking about last gears, time, the flagship. Gears would be Are they doing more Gears? I thought they ended that. They've got... Um, oh, it's a prequel with... Um, Bard, is he called? I don't play Gears, so I don't... Yeah, no, there's a new Gears of War coming out that's for 360, but I forget the name of it. They might be keeping a lot of it. I mean, a lot of the games that might Judgment. be released, they it's might be keeping them close to their chest because... You start saying, oh, we're working on this game. People are like, well, we want to see screenshots. Then they put out screenshots like, well, hang on, the 360 can't do this. Yeah, and then it starts to give the game away. So yeah. they're saying, why not release at E3? Because Microsoft want to make a splash away from the noise of a mega show, which is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. it's very good. And it's that. said that play, uh, Sony are under, under the same sort of guys. They want to do the same thing. I Also, depending on when it does come out, if it comes out this year, I don't see it happening. But I could quite easily see the next Borderlands. As yeah, a, a launch title because that game has got big. Yeah, like the first, but I think it would work. It would only work if both consoles came out at the same time. Yeah, um, they're also saying Blu-ray in the next one, which means oh, yeah. we can one disc, not three discs for some <laughs> games. Bits, please. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to think what other big Xbox games there are that would have. Do you think it will come Connect ready? Like it will have an inbuilt Connect. Can't see why not. No. What well, inbuilt? No, because no, because they won't make as much money off that. Yeah, because they need their add-ons. The so, Connect but, what, is powerful enough to jump the. You know, yeah, yeah. That, but the other point is, if you have it Connect ready, then it would need some sort of way to know whether you're standing your Xbox or mm. on which side. If you're laying it down or standing it up. True. And do you think Sony will figure out how to properly run the Unreal Engine? I don't know, we'll, Barry, will Sony figure out how to run the Unreal um, Engine? It's more to do with developing, and it's easier to develop on Xbox. So PS3 but games it, kind of get developed after in the Xbox versions. Like, yeah. I try and make it But it's like, it, it does seem like, from every review I've ever read, and this is with DMC as well, this is mm. why it's fresh in my mind, all the, all the games that are developed on the Unreal Engine yeah. just will not run properly on a PS3. They just lose so much. It's just... Cat. Cat? It's a cat. There's also a Lucy. A loose cat. Oh. So, anyway, um, a code name Fortaleza is that what they said, yeah, um, fucking... and has a connect at its heart. These are all rumours, but I, I can't see that happening because why? Yeah, I mean, the whole it, it, they want to make money from the connect, so why would you put it in? And they can't jack, they can't jack up the price by like a hundred quid. You can't do no, that because they have got something else for it. True. You, but what can they like, put now? Well, I, the only real thing that I could think of that they could... I'm doing it. I'm doing it. The audit. Oh, yeah. What happened? Cancelled it again for the seventh time. Nice. Oh. Yeah, this is the second reason because of snow. We heard you died because you lost at Pictionary. <laughs> yeah, you were no. playing hardcore Pictionary. Which <clears> means permadeath. And yeah, you died. permadeath Pictionary. <laughs> oh, no. That or you didn't like Colonial Marines. Yeah. yeah. 
He wouldn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're doing for time. It's 4 4. Alright. Um, so they announced 13 3. Yeah, they're going to look shit. Woo. And you're, 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 you're loving it because you love Final Fantasy Thirteen. I can't wait for that game. I, I remember playing Final Fantasy. That game's amazing. It has a train. I absolutely... I love everything about that game. Especially the paradoxes. <laughs> I, I mean... I, why are they... <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's going to smack him. Why are they milking Thirteen? Because... It's they're idiots. Actually, the biggest selling Final Fantasy. More really? than Seven? More than Seven. I suppose at the time, Seven was yeah. low, but... Oh, they released this kind of like iPad or Android game. I think it's the Apple Store actually, and it's called um, uh, da, 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 How Final Fantasy, Fantasy Bravest of Us or Bravest Soldiers. Bravest of all. Yeah, and I was telling Matt about this. Um, it's you got thirty party members, so it's Final Fantasy one to five, all right. and you got thirty party members, and to attack you just da, 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 da. yeah. You unlock new classes and you fight monsters, but on the iGen review, you can literally just swipe the the characters. And it just does it. There's no turn base. There's no right. port to it. Speaking of Final Fantasy it's, games, oh, it's terrible. Yeah, possible iOS releases. Yeah. Because um, they would have done one and two. Squeenix and four. I think. Oh, that might just be. A... I know one and two there because I remember I downloaded yeah. one. I think four. <laughs> and of course, no one played two. Was playing four on the S3, so I think that might be an right. iOS. But um, there's. I'm not sure if it's going to be five or six. But six they, one you, you like. Six is my favourite. Six one. is awesome. But, um, that's Squall, isn't it? No, that's eight. eight. What's six then? Six, six is, is Terra. Terra. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But there's, um, they've registered the domain, and when you go to the domain, it's a picture of what looks like a like old school, like SNES behemoth. Right. <clears throat> and four party members, one of whom could, looks, and they can't tell what it is, because obviously they're different outfits, and they all look kind of similar, because they're all sprightly. It either looks like Gallif from Final Fantasy V, or Edge from no, not Edge, um, Sabin from Final Fantasy VI. Oh, okay. So they're thinking that they're going to re-release those on iOS and probably on the Play Store as well. Yeah, cool. Which would be fucking amazing. I agree. Even though I can't play it. <laughs> yeah, 13.3. 13.3, It looks shit. But it has a train station, though. Seven had a train station. Seven had a train station. But this has a new six train had a ghost station. train. So. <laughs> a ghost train station? Oh, I hate that. Yeah, it was a ghost train station. Um, was it the ghost of trains or was it train ghosts? It was a precursor to Doom Train. Was it the place where ghosts went to train? It was when, you, oh. when, the, <laughs> when the people died, they went into the forest and there was a train station and the train took them to the afterlife. Except I killed the train. The afterlife stream? Yeah, the afterlife stream. Except I killed the train. It was a paradox. You just fart on that. Just fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Been loving. I'm not Lucy. <laughs> I know you that. can't do He's that to me. He's got bigger boobs. That's true, but you still can't <laughs> do it to me. <laughs> Fuck. So, when oh, was the yeah. last time you actually ever went and bought something from a, a shop, like a, a game? What about games here? Last time you went into an actual shop in town and bought something? Oh, uh, uh, really? You actually went? You I didn't went, order it? Yeah, I didn't pre-order it. Well, I cancelled my pre-order. I never order anything online. Why yeah. not? I just, I just don't like it. My I, know, last time. I know I'm in IT, and I, and I just, I should, you know, get with the whole online banking, e-commerce, and, and all that. Yeah, I don't do I online say, banking. I say fuck that. Yeah. I don't touch online banking, and You're I bought Devil May Cry <laughs> from Game on Tuesday. Because I'm just saying about the whole HMV closed down. Yeah, yeah, no. no blockbuster, HMV. Yeah, blockbuster have gone to admin. Yes. HMV hasn't actually closed down yet. They it? closed the shops. Have yeah, they? Yeah, they actually closed. closed. They, the website's been off since. And, uh, yeah, I know the website. They announced it's off since Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. and then the next day. I went day, to HMV on Tuesday. Yeah. And then the next day, they closed all the shops. And Blockbuster is closing down this week. Well, it's gone into admin. No, they reckon that, they can come the back to The store in Hemel is saying closing down. Like, uh, literally, it's got a date. So maybe. I bought Double May Cry from maybe it'll be like HMV. Game, though. They'll keep some open. Yeah. yeah. Which, weirdly enough, in Hemel. The one on the inside is shut. They shut the inside game. Yeah. yeah. So, and then there was a game station opposite the outside ga- game. Yeah. Now game station's gone. Yeah. But, the game, but the, but outside outside game's still the outside game's still there. The outside game's still there. In Watford, there. they closed the outside one ages ago, a long, long time ago. Yeah. They've just closed the inside one and moved it to the other end of the Harlequin. Uh, no. Or whatever it's called now. God, yeah. Fucking, they're, they're renaming the Harlequin. In Watford. Oh, yeah? They're calling it Into, I-N-T-U, Into Watford. 
They're not calling it Harlequin Centre. It's meant to be some sort of joke. I have no idea. But it's going to be confusing. I'm going, to, I'm going into Watford. But no, I'm, I'm going to always call it Harlequin. Earlier, I'm not going to call it yeah. into Watford. That, yeah, uh, it's one of those things you grew up with. You're not going to suddenly yeah. start calling it something yeah, else. Yeah, like, I never um, called it Zaddy. I always called it Virgin Store. Yeah. 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 It was the Green Virgin Store. Okay. Yeah. What was Zavi? Zavi is what Virgin yeah. changed its name to before it shut down. Oh, that's where HMB yeah, was. No. Hmm? Yeah, class Olsen. Right. Yeah, Class Olsen, yeah. Um, I love that shot, man. <laughs> 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 um, that's kind of all the topics I already had. Oh, 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 set four. What day does the week start? Monday. Sunday. Monday. Why Why Sunday? It's my work week, bitch. <laughs> so it's a retail thing? It's a retail thing. Okay, that's the most answer we've come uh, we've come to. People who think the week starts on a Sunday is because of retail thing. Yeah. Yes, it totally is. Yeah. <laughs> but the British thing is Monday. Yeah. It's American is where the Sunday comes from. It's okay. just we were having this conversation about mm-hmm. it. He was talking about posting a video this week, and he was talking about Sunday. And I was like, no, week starts Monday. And then he was like, thank fuck that someone else agrees yeah, with me. Yeah, nobody else agrees. Okay. I agree with you. Shut up, nobody fucking gets. Because, Danny, <laughs> okay, I mentioned this before, and I said that um, it was because the Outlook calendar, defo- uh, calendar defaults to that, and you made some comment about not trusting Microsoft for these sort of things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you shouldn't really. But no, I'd still stand by <clears throat> the week starts on Monday. Did you trust Apple? The week would start. No, because no, I mean, Apple it's Monday. perfect sense because you start, your, you have the weekends off, and yeah. you start your job on Monday. So the new, the new week for you starts on Monday. Yeah. But the new week for us uh, in retail actually so starts on, on Sundays. I can un- some so pe- that's the way I wrote Some it, people's um, justification for it, talking about weekends, I understand where they come from. <clears throat> the weekend, they're the two days that cap the week, the two ends of the week. But the way I see it, it's <laughs> the again, weekend. It's the it end of the week. The, weekend, the two right. days at the end of the week. That's how I see it. But I understand other people's point of view saying it caps. My, my weekend changes. I mean, my weekend <laughs> could be a Tuesday and Wednesday. This week happens to be a Monday and a Tuesday. But no, but the weekend <laughs> specifically are Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah, not in my fucking calendar. <laughs> Well, then you should upgrade to Outlook because it's always sad and no, sad. No, no one should upgrade to Outlook. <laughs> upgrade Dixon's to, <laughs> to, to oh. Outlook. You could look at it that way. You could look at the weekend like bookings. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's I what I said. That's, you, so. that's why I understand people saying Sunday is the beginning of the week because they say that the weekend's the two ends. <laughs> yeah. But no. <laughs> I, don't, I understand their point of view, but I don't agree with it. There's a weekend <laughs> and there's a week start. What was that? <laughs> Just a binary coursing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, full circle. That's a good point to stop. I think we shouldn't name the podcast that. I think we should.